Hi, I would like to talk to you today on atrial fibrillation and the risk for stroke. Atrial fibrillation is very common, it's seen mainly in older people. However, we also see atrial fibrillation in young people. The risk of having atrial fibrillation and stroke increases with age. If you have AF and you are 65 years and above, the risk for stroke increases. How do we treat patients to reduce the risk for stroke? Once you have been diagnosed as atrial fibrillation, and you see your cardiologist and it is confirmed that you have atrial fibrillation then they will risk stratify you they will look at all the possibilities that makes you at high risk for stroke apart from age it can be the presence of hypertension diabetes heart failure heart attack or even you had strokes before so once you are deemed that you are at risk for stroke your doctors will prescribe you a medication called a blood thinner i'm so glad now for the last 10 years we have new drugs, it's called Direct Oral Anticoagulant or DOAC. Currently in Malaysia, we are very lucky, we have four of these drugs that are available. Any one of these drugs can be used to treat you and they are as good as each other. They include Dabigatran, Rivaroxaban, Apixaban and Idoxaban. So talk to your doctors if you have atrial fibrillation, make sure that you are risk stratified. If you are at risk for stroke, make sure you are taking the right medication. Any one of the drugs that I mentioned above is suitable for you. With that, this is the message from CVSKL. I'm Dr. Razali Omar, one of the cardiologists and electrophysiologists at CVSKL.